Right. All right. All right, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> I try to catch me howling at the moon. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. Um, so last couple of days have been pretty good. Um, yes. I've been teaching the last couple of days, which apparently means that Mike is um, on his own and uh, goes a little crazy. And by crazy, I, I mean, crazy. I was sitting there teaching and talking on Zoom with my kids, and all you do is come up behind me and go, hey honey, how's it going? And I turn around, and you've got your hair shaved all the way up to here. But I left like my, him, I left like him alone long enough for him to go give himself his own haircut. Yeah, it didn't take long. <laughs> of course it didn't. No, I was, I was trimming my beard and all of a sudden I, I was like, ooh, it's a little uneven right there. I'll go up a little up, you know, a little higher and a little higher here. Next thing I know, oh, forget it. I'll just do the whole thing. But <laughs> I couldn't really reach my back all the way, so I used my phone and the mirror. It, it was a mess. So but I gave myself a haircut, so twirl, I don't know. Twirl for I, Humphrey I, and I. How did it come out? Pretty good. You can see kind of yeah. like. Yeah, it's, it's a straight line, but. <laughs> he worked on his fade. Yeah, I, I can see my back. Uh, well, <laughs> it's okay. But you know what? I, I went out in public yesterday. Nobody laughed at me, so that was good. I'll take it. Not at his face. No, at least not in my face. But <laughs> I was also wearing gloves, so maybe they were laughing at that. Who so knows? then he goes, yeah. oh, hi, I'm going to go to the store now. And so then he disappears to the store, and it's like hours later. I get. I got a ton of work done yesterday for school, yeah, which was did. awesome. And he comes back and he goes, I found this recipe on Red Snapper and I couldn't find any Red Snapper. He no, was there's no so, Red Snapper. like cartoon fume coming out of his ears. Yeah. Temper tantrum no. all over the place. There was one at Whole Foods. It was this big. And the guy said it was like, what, uh, five or six pounds, maybe more. I was like, well, I don't want that big. I just want two little pieces, like half pounders. And that would have been great. And it was a, the recipe from the keto book, 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 uh, book, which was, would have been great. It would, well, like takes only 20 minutes to cook. It did but, look really good in the recipe. But ended up getting a salmon with skin on it. So I kind of tried to cook it the same way, but it didn't really come out the same. It was good. I felt like I burnt it a little bit. I really liked it. it was, I didn't it think fried. it was burnt. No. Like, you know how you get like that crusty yeah. salmon and stuff like that? It was like, so it was coconut oil and coconut flour? Uh, coconut flour, coconut oil, yeah. And, so um, fried salmon. Like, and then we made this really great sesame oil sauce to like drizzle over it. Toasted sesame it oil. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. I really it enjoyed it. It was good. It was good. We have asparagus, which was nice. Yeah. And a um, couple of drinks, which was nice, habanero and jalapeno for you, yeah. which was nice. But yeah, really so that, that's, that's been our days, the last yeah. couple of days, nothing crazy. Today was pretty um, relaxed. I had some FaceTime Zooms yeah. and stuff like that for school. We did a CrossFit, a CrossFit workout yesterday. We're still yeah. need to do one today. Mm -hmm. So hopefully after this video, we'll Lots get to work. Lots of snuggles with this and, nugget. And um, watching a couple of shows. I think I'm still watching uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, I've gotten and, him into all the sci-fi yeah, Doctor Who's good to go. TV shows. Uh, we haven't watched 100 in a while. Uh, oh, that, yeah. yeah, we're in the season three for that. And what else? What are you doing? <laughs> There's dog hair on my nose. <laughs> Humphrey, do you have anything to say? Usually you do. <laughs> oh. I guess not. He's so tired. Yeah, he's tired. From but laying around you, all you, day. You know... But this is normal life. I know. He just gets buddy now. I mean, he has more people to hang out with. Yeah. Uh, but you know, as far as the food goes, um, I know I've been struggling with snacking. Snack. I mean, still staying keto, but I just want to snack oh, all the I time. I was so good yesterday. It was so good. I'm but, very proud of myself yesterday. Yeah, no, you were, and uh, I was like snacking, and uh, I don't know, because I think really we're good. home all the time. It's hard not to snack. Yeah, I I just as long as we make it like yeah. we don't pull like the bag of salami out and just eat the salami. I think like I, what I've been more conscious of is like I'm looking forward to making jalapeno poppers tonight for dinner. And so I'm like, 
gotta save that cheese intake for then. Well, <laughs> I'm sure everybody else is going through the same thing we are. How many, how many visits do we have to the refrigerator? Right? Have you been counting? No, we're not. But what I'm saying is maybe it's best to take out what we are going to eat on a plate rather than going back to the refrigerator like, ten you times. know, 10 times. And true. so I don't know. Uh, I, I know it seems like we're taking only one or two or whatever it is. Yeah. But if we take out at once a bunch of it and eat it, it won't, it will get full faster. Yeah. But it's not about being full or being hungry. It just being home and sometimes you have nothing to do but to I eat. have a lot to do. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You right. have so much to do. Okay. Like hey. home free. Exactly, like home right. free. But um, speaking of things that we're doing, okay, so we decided the extroverts in us need like a fun powwow with people. Yeah. So we're inviting you guys to do a Zoom session with us. I'm gonna be teaching Mike how to paint and so if you guys have paints at home or something like that, like get those out and come paint with us and yes. join us on the Zoom link and come paint with us. And it's going to be this Sunday. So we're Sunday. calling this virtual paint and sit, just like yes. we talked about in the last video. But instead of that, it's actually going to be on Sunday on April 5th yes. at 5 p.m. So uh, California Pacific Standard Time. Uh, if you have if paint, you're... if you have paper, yes. we're going to do, you know how they have those classes where they like teach you how to paint or like you paint and drink wine. We're gonna do like a pretend one of those and we're gonna yes. see if it works. Even if you don't have paint supplies, come join Just us. Just join us, join us, it'll be fun. Cause I'm really excited to see how um, Mike paints. I have, yeah, it's not gonna <laughs> be good. Uh, when I was small, I knew how to draw a little bit, but Drew? that was Drew, 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 Draw. 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 Yes. Draw. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but that's been, what, 30, 30 plus years. So, yeah. We'll see. It'll be fun, guys. So come, like, hang out with us on Zoom, um, and we'll tell you more information as it comes. But that's kind of our plan. That's yeah. our big weekend, like, hullabaloo. Party with paint and sip. Paint and sip. Virtual paint and sip. All right, Humphrey. Say bye. Say goodbye, Humphrey. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in a couple of days. <laughs> bye. He was a good boy. <laughs> All right, we gotta do it again. Are you kidding me? <laughs>